Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette playing Risk of Rain 2 again. We're gonna actually put on the monsoon this time because we've been forgetting to and it's not been great. So we've got choose our items, enemies can only spawn as elite and monster drop items on death. Interesting. Um, who are we gonna go as today? We've, we played Acra the other day. I like the idea of Rex, but I think with only elites that could prove quite problematic. Artificers, fun, but very, very difficult to play. Um, I don't know. Should we go Engineer? Engineer is always interesting, but I don't have the uh, the better ability unlocked for him yet. Or should we go as Multi? Um, multi could be interesting. Let's try out Multi. It's been a long time since I played Multi. Um, a really long time, in fact. So this guy's pretty cool. He can have two active items. He can swap between like a, a rebar launcher. Um, and like a little nail gun cannon. He's generally quite a slow moving character. Um, so you've got some problems there, but he can be pretty effective, I think. As long as we, uh, as long as we manage the, um, the cooldowns of this ability regularly. And we've got to remember as well that we've got the ability on to choose items along with the ability to get items on enemy death. Which should be pretty good. I'm going to try and use the rebar launcher because at the minute it's really good for us because it has piercing. Um, and it just does a lot of damage, honestly. It just does a ton of damage. So probably going to be the better thing for us. We've got our um, fight all the way at the top there. So basically for right now, we just want to be killing as many things as we can. As you can see, that knockback as well is super, super nice. But if we, if we switch back over to this and see what sort of damage this does... It's not inconsequential, it's pretty decent damage, uh, but I think with this you really need some stuff to be proccing for it to be super good, like crits and things like that. Uh, I remember when the game first came out, there was actually a bug with um, with this, where the ocular hood, the one that gives you crits for a certain amount of time, was slightly glitched to the point where if you, ha if you turned it on, held down the fire button with the nail gun and never let go, the crits would never go away. It was brilliant. So we have got ourselves an active item here. Let's have a little look what we want to get. Probably best for us to take this right now because we're going to be having large, large crowds of enemies. Um, yeah, this is super useful for these guys. We're going to be having large, large crowds of enemies for our bosses every time because we've got the always elite thing on. Um, so I really think it would benefit us quite heavily to make sure that we can deal with all of them very quickly. I haven't even really gone for our mouse 2 yet. We can do this where we sort of hunker down and uh, turn into a sort of little droid thing. We also have this little sort of grenade type thing. It's like a cluster bomb. I don't think I have any of the alt abilities on for uh, multi right now either. So we're not seeing any of those. We'll switch back over now. And while we're getting really close range like this, if you can really... Like, face tank a few shots. You can get a lot more damage off with this, I think. Because you can do this, what I'm doing now, look. And it doesn't take anywhere near as long to spool up. And then we just switch over to this. It's just nice to have the ability to have, like, two different things to swap between. I'm really hoping to get, like, three, maybe four items before we move on here. There's our first normal item. Okay, so we got our first big boy here. Okay, he's going to take a while, so we're just going to do this. Okay, he did do quite a lot of damage to us. Quite a lot of damage, but we should be fine. Again, we kind of... It would be beneficial for us to line up enemies to get some piercing shots. I do believe this pierces. Yes, it does. So that's going to be like our best way right now of dealing good damage. Because we can hit multiple things at once relatively easily. Things are getting closer dead here. Of course, we don't actually need the money from killing things. We just just want the items. Oh, being able to bash things into walls and stuff is really nice. I love using this thing. So satisfying to use. Feeling like an absolute, like, accuracy god right now. Okay. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, let's just get some movement speed for now, because multi is pretty slow, as you guys can see. We also get a pretty big de uh, defense boost whenever we use that ability. Now, we can't... Unfortunately, we can't really get away with using our little proton thing again, just simply because, for right now at least... Okay, we are in a real bad spot right now. <laughs> We are in a real bad spot. These glacial dudes as elites can be really, really bad for us. The nice thing is we can get that stun on them. And we can also do that to stun them as well. So we can deal good damage here. 
Of course, I went for movement speed straight away, just for the simple fact that it's a bit easier for us to uh, make work. I think we got an item there. We did. Good, good, good. Luckily, leveling up gives us a little bit of healing as well. It's just managing everything at the minute that's a problem. We're, we're, we're having to deal with a lot of really tough enemies. I really like the uh, the idea of, of Monsoon or Elite, though. Like, I have a feeling we'll like, probably end up getting a few early deaths here because it's just... It's difficult. Not gonna lie, it's difficult. Oh, I do, I do feel like an absolute sniper right now. So what's gonna be the biggest benefit for us? I think crowbar could be really really good for us right now so let's go and get one of those if we can get like three or four crowbars going basically meaning that our rebar fire does a lot more damage on initial hit that could lead to some some really really nice kills now we've still got this guy that for some reason has made his way all the way over there i'm not quite sure why we've now got our active ability uh, ready which is really nice we might be able to just take this guy from a distance we always want to be trying to hit these guys into um into enemies. It seems that there's a sort of damage cap to this uh, rebar at certain ranges. We're dealing 156 on our fair shot sometimes, but not always. I'm not really sure why that is. I'm going to do this to get over here. We are pretty low on health right now, which is a problem. Definitely an issue. We want to be using this as much as possible to stun. And I think what we'll do is we'll just make our way back around while trying to get some kills here, if we can. As long as we don't fall off the map. Um, and we'll just see if any items crop up as we go. Seems like we get our stun grenade pretty regularly. And it's really useful for doing what I just did there and stunning uh, an enemy out of an uh, annoying ability. I'm going to go for this here. Get myself a healing drone. I think with the low health regen we have right now, healing drone is going to be massively useful. Okay, that didn't quite work. Oh, no, it did. It did. Sounds like we've got another big guy behind us, actually. Could be problematic. Okay, that actually charges up way faster than I thought it did. We'll make our way back down this way because it does sound like there's another big guy behind us. We might have missed an item down here anyways. Unlikely, honestly, these first few phases, you don't really get many items. But we are going to be moving into medium difficulty pretty much straight away, which isn't great. 178 on our first hits, able to one-shot those guys, even as elites, which is... Very, very nice to see. And I do think our little proton thing should pretty easily, pretty easily um, clear up. What the? Okay, that guy's stuck as all hell. He is big stuck. The sad thing about multi, really, is the movement speed and just movement in general is just not good. I do think our Proton, whatever it's called, will just demolish this boss, though, depending on what it is. I mean, it could be a bunch of those Stone Guardian guys, um, Stone Titans, and that would really mess us up, if that's the case. Good, 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 good. Sadly, we only got two items. I was really hoping for three or four, but we just... It's its so much more difficult to, to do well with that when there's um, so little enemies, because they're all elites. So I think, I think our best bet is we go over here... We move back over this way. Of course, it's Stone Titan. Oh, wait. It's a normal boss now. I forgot about that. I forgot that that's a thing. I was thinking it was going to be normal enemies, but we've not got the one of every type thing on, haven't we? That doesn't actually make any sense. Okay, he just, like, regened all of our HP, which is great. Uh, we're going to use this for a bit, because this will be an easy way to get some extra shots on him. I really don't know... Oh, God. Do not let him hit us with that. Wow. Do not let him hit us with that. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm out of here, boys. Oh, my God. Left off with just two HP. One hit from any of these enemies that are firing at us right now. It's devastating, so let's not get hit by any of them, shall we? Stun him. Oh, my God. So that was close. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to kill this boss. For some reason, in my brain, I was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's going to be a, a bunch of enemies because we've got the elites on. No, no, no. That's only when it's one of every type on a stage that that happens. So that's not going to happen this time. Which basically means that this boss is going to take forever and a day for us to kill. 
Okay, we're dead. Oh no, we got him, we got him. That was very close. How'd that miss? Go, fiend! Okay, getting a crit on a rebar is pretty spicy, I have to say. No items dropping either, which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah, see, the thing is, we've got to get all the way through the shield before we even get to get to his... get to hurting him normally. And can we talk about the fact that I have a healing drone on and I still have this little health left? God damn, the healing drone is either just not really trying or it's... I just... yeah. Monsoon is just way more difficult than I was expecting, which is probably the case. Let's be honest. Look at all these enemies. Go away. Look how little damage one of those things was. Stop spawning stone titans on me. Oh my god. This is so brutal. <laughs> How are people meant to... Look at this. I only have two items. Normally by now you have like ten. I guess I just chill here and just try not to die. I guess. That's going to be difficult with the situation that's going on right now. Look at all these enemies and none of them giving me items. Give me some items. Give me some items. Give me some items. Give me some items. This was like a really fun way to start, but it's so difficult. Why didn't we get more items? It's really screwed us. And look how much health he's lost. He had to be that elite, didn't he? He had to be that elite. I, I quite literally cannot kill that boss. Like there is just no way it's happening. There is just absolutely no way it's happening. Like, I deal so much damage with my with my proton thing, and it's nowhere near enough. And then he just regens it all back because I can't keep hitting him. I just can't deal with it. Like, look at this. What is this? There's just so many things happening. I'm on 12 health. There you go. I have died. Right, we'll try that again, honestly. That was pretty fun, but that was that was just ridiculous. <laughs> Should we just turn off the elite one and see how we go on one soon? I mean, it's fun, but it's so difficult. No, we'll keep it on for another one. We'll keep it on for another one. It all depends on our item luck. If we get... Oh, why did I do that? If we get super lucky on our items, it's actually not too bad. We just need to level up and hope we can get some items. Oh, you see that snipe? Absolute sniper here. Come on, item. 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 Yes! Nice. Okay, so... Let's go for crowbar. Let's try and stack a bunch of crowbars. That's not going to help us too much for the boss, to be honest. But, oh, legendary item this early. Okay, what would be a really good legendary item to get this early? Okay, we need to actually go and, and research this. We need to make a, a very well-informed decision here. I can't, I can't be messing around with this right now. Uh, risk of rain to items. Right. Legendary items. Where are you? Okay, so. We've got 57 leaf clover, which would be insane if we can get that. I think we can. Um, let's have a look. Uh, brilliant behemoth. Ceremonial dagger. Um, ceremonial dagger. Uh, 
The Shattering Justice could be really good. I think we'll go with 57 Leaf Clover. Um... That'll probably be the best one. And then we can stack up, like, on-hit effects. Let's let's have a little look if we can do that. Because I swear, last time I tried to do that and it didn't work. Like, I tried to get 50 leaf clover and it wasn't there. Let's have a little look-see. Because if we can, we can start to build around that. Oh, wait, is it locked? Is that why I can't do it? Do I not have that unlocked yet? I don't think I have 57 Leaf Clover unlocked yet, you know. <laughs> Surprisingly. Um, we could just go with Kildred's active cooldown. Uh, Brilliant Behemoth is, all, is always good. Let's 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 just check out what's B Brilliant Behemoth's damage. Um, okay, it really only affects nearby enemies, though, so... Hmm. Ceremonial Dagger seems like it'd be really good. Shattering Justice is pretty good. Um, Fire Out Lightning that hits three enemies for 200% base damage. Hmm. Difficult. Difficult, difficult. How do you unlock the, the, uh, the 57 Leaf Clover then? Because I haven't got it unlocked. Oh, it's the long road. I still haven't done that yet. Um, I mean, I could go for the one that I normally go for, which is... Kills reduce active item cooldown by four seconds, which is pretty amazing. Uh, especially with a, a low cooldown item. But that's not going to help us too much straight away. Let's go for the ceremonial daggers and try and build around that, shall we? And then, with this, let's go for something that's going to be a bit better for us, like, right away. So we'll go with that. We can do stuff like this. Which is very favourable for us right now. I really wish we had the 57 leaf clover, but unfortunately I don't have it unlocked yet. I didn't even realise I didn't have it unlocked. Ow, freezing me is not good in this situation here. But yeah, the Ceremonial Daggers, it's not going to be super, super strong yet, but when we start getting to the point where we can kill things relatively quickly... Okay, I... I just... Yeah. We get, a, we get a Legendary on our second item, and we just get demolished. Having everything as Elites is just insane. We, we'll turn that off. <laughs> we'll turn that off. Can't believe that. We get a Legendary on literally our second draw. That was so good, but nothing can be done about it. Then these guys here, if you get these as your, um, as your, like, first enemies on all elites, on Monsoon especially, it's just game over. I'm, I'm sorry, but it just is. It's just game over. You cannot best these guys. They do so much damage. And as a character like Multi that has very little movement, you can't really get away from them. Now, what I should have done is just stunned them and moved away, but they still, they still wouldn't have been dead. I was tempted to go for the Shattering Justice. That would have been really good too. Yeah, we'll we'll never get a, a draw like that again, most likely for um. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, we'll never get a draw like that again to get an uh, a legendary that early. That was unprecedented. Where are they all at? Three sixty, boy. Boom. <laughs> Trick shots going at you. Ah, oh, I missed. I hear an enemy, but I don't know where he is. Is he up there? I think he's up here. But yes, it's a sad day when uh, when you lose a legendary that early. Got super lucky. Immediately got shafted. Won't happen again. Normally, you, you get like one legendary like after your first loop, so 
sad times. Obviously, the ceremonial daggers would have been really good, but getting them to proc is difficult when you, it takes long to kill enemies. Should it, Maybe should have gone for something a diff different, but that was my immediate sort of reaction for best item for us right, right then. Where is everything? Can I get some items before I leave, please? I love the fact that it actually leaves a rebar. Looks like we're fighting nothing today, boys. Fighting a whole lot of nothing. Oh my god. Monsoon is so difficult, guys. <laughs> there you go. I forced it to spawn things on me. The, the stun grenade actually does okay damage as well, that's the thing. Item? Oh, yes, we got an item. Got him while he's mid air. Oh, the double. Oh, the double. Double treble. Double treble. Okay. Give me the item. Give me crowbars. Again, I think the crowbar tactic with the rebar launcher is actually, like, pretty good. And I think it can work for us. Being able to one-shot things early is lovely. Of course, it, like I said, it doesn't help for the boss at all. But really, can we get, like, more than one item to, to um... More than one item to play with here. I'd really like to have like three or four good items before we uh before we start our boss here. But it's just I don't know. I always feel like the the um enemies drop items on death one is such a bad bad one early on and such an amazing one late. Like early on you get no items at all. You're just getting absolutely nothing. And then late on you get tons of stuff. Right, where, where are we looking? Nowhere, because there's no enemies again. You, I'm just going to absolutely, like, get super close to you. There you go. No item from you, though. Right, I guess we'll just start a boss, considering we literally have no ability to get items whatsoever. Oh, okay, that was bad. I tried to I tried to dash away from him and instead it just like dashed me into him. Can none of these enemies that are spawning with, with him right now like give me items? It seems like they can't. Right. He's trying. I mean, well they're getting good damage on us to be honest. But we should be we should have him here. There you go. Got ourselves our first boss. See if any of these give us any items before we go. Probably not though. I mean we have to kill these anyways for the teleport charge. Nope. 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 Oh my god. Please, just one. There's so many enemies. Just one item. There we go. There's one item. Now just two items. <laughs> I'll never keep asking. I never stop asking for items. I want more. Okay, I need to pick up these items anyways. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit here. Oh, why do they have to be elites? Stop being elites. Okay, two more enemies. Please, just one more item from one of you. That would be amazing. How did that not kill you, dude? Okay, right. Another crowbar. And what do we want for my green item? I don't even know. Uh, I want something that's going to increase our damage by a decent amount. Um, 
Let's go with the missiles. That should increase our damage by a good amount. And try to go from there. See how this goes. Let's see how this goes. We can just do this straight away to try and get some items. Okay, 263 on a non-crit on a first attack is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Pretty good. Okay, managed to, managed to stun the wrong one, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't actually know if it's ever worth doing these, um, like I'm doing now. But I'm just thinking maybe we can get a few more items. And there you go, we actually got one from one of these, like, one of these enemies that spawned from the challenge. So it does work. Just gives you a few more enemies to go at. Gonna go for the, like, a lot of the missiles and see if we can work with that. Try and get them stacking up some real high damage. My god, we got another one. So these should do pretty good damage now already. Which is always lovely. Did we get so many green items? What the hell is going on right now? I mean, I'm happy for it. So many green items. What is going on here? I'm just going to take all. All of these. That, that was bizarre. I've never had that many green items in a row. I've already got six of these missiles. That's probably our entire look for this, this stage done. Uh, but I'm thinking, I don't actually know if this works, but if the missile works with crowbar, which I'd assume it does, because I think it just amplifies your first hit of damage on an enemy no matter what, they should deal pretty insane damage. Because if we, if we go over to the tab here, um, oh no, I don't think you can check the actual stats unless you've got a mod. I thought I had, for some reason I thought I had the mod, but I do not. Oh, 1,000 damage on that. Right, I'm trying to see what damage the, the missiles do as of base. Like, without. So, that does 2,000. Oh, my God. We got another green item. Okay, by the way, as well, having multiple missiles doesn't increase their um, rate of fire or anything at all. It just increases their damage. And it increases their damage a lot. Basically, I'm looking for some sexy one-shots here. Eight, yeah, it definitely affects it. 8,000 we got there. So basically, when, when we when we launch our missiles, it's a pretty much guarantee that we're going to one-shot whatever it hits, apart from if it's a boss. So I genuinely think the tactic here... We'll, we'll keep fighting a bit. I genuinely think the tactic here is do not shoot the boss. Let our, let our crowbar-fueled missile hit the boss first, and it'll deal a lot more damage than we ever could. I'm loving using this stuff. Hey, there's another crowbar. Kind of a weird setup here, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Definitely got a few more items in us here before we have to move along. Maybe. Maybe not. Got a Luna coin out of that. Didn't even know that was possible. Well, good damage on our first hit there. I'm not exactly sure what procs the missiles. This is what having 57 leaf clover would be good for. Okay, so don't use the uh, don't use the stun straight away because that eats up our crowbar. Of course, I did exactly that just then. But it's I, I think on elites it's probably okay. Die, ah, fiend. Yeah, 3,600 and 8,000 before. 10k. Yeah, it definitely gets affected by Crowbar. That's insane. Oh, look. More. This has to be, like, the most lucrative floor I've ever had for item drops. So, right. I'll spawn the boss now. Now, do not shoot the boss. Just let missiles spawn and shoot the boss. Now, the problem is going to be that it's going to be hard to get the missiles to hit the boss. Because there'll be other enemies it's going to go for. 
And sometimes it just outright won't fire them. Oh, okay. I hit the boss there. I didn't mean to, but I hit the boss. So I just keep firing at it now, I guess. The missiles fire more often if we if we do this. They do. Okay, so we do get a lot more missiles this way, but this doesn't really support what we're doing. Oh my god. I hate you, Clegg, you're doing Strider. Oh my god, the amount of green items today. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Right, I need to get out of here. I'm taking a lot of damage. It's all these buggers. This is the attack. This attack is bullshit. Look at that. Herming hits me, didn't even have to try. Let's just see if we can get a few missiles on him. Are they even hitting him? Because that didn't feel like I was hitting him properly. Stop doing this attack. These bloody balls of death are horrible. Oh, of course, this attack's really annoying too. I'm just waiting for these missiles to fire off on him. Alright, hit him. Okay, the missiles don't even hit him. They, like, go underneath him. That's why we're having problems with this guy. Right, so another crowbar. Another missile. We're on to 12. Wow, that floor was nutty. We got so many green items in a row there. I swear, when I'm recording, Discord is like, Hey, here's 16,000 notifications. God damn. Right. Let's see how we go with this floor. Oof, that's doing... Okay, that's only doing 600 this time. Oh. So, I've just noticed something. So, watch, watch this. So, we get a missile. Let's see if we can get a missile to proc. We get a missile. It does some dam uh, damage because I don't know where it went. 600 damage. Switch over to the bar. Get a missile. 26k damage. It scales. It depends on what mode you're on. It scales with your current damage. Okay, that's ludicrous. Knowing that, it's always better to stay on our rebar. Because even if we proc less often, we are getting way more damage. Way more bang for our buck. That's insane. Got him. Big hefty hit to start as well as lovely. 890 versus 200 a shot. And we'll start getting items around here soon, I guess. There you go. Oh my god. That one only got 500 damage though. Maybe we've just been witnessing it with the uh, crowbar every time. 32k damage. My god. This is a very strange setup, but I like it. Just out DPS the enemy. It'll be cool. 
Right, can we see from here where the teleporter is? Over there. Okay. We should make our way over there. Good, good, good. We'll chill on this bridge for a bit, see if we can get a few more um few more things going. We don't have an active item yet, which is surprising. Oh, I love the long rangeness of the rebar. No, thank you. Right, as soon as we get a missile fired here, it's game over for these guys. I don't know what triggers the missile. I think it's just random when you fire. But I'm not actually sure. There you go. There's one. You died. Seven thousand damage there. Lovely. Okay, it seems that our stun grenades now kill these smaller enemies in one hit. It's awesome. We're dealing over a thousand damage on hits of those guys. There's that active item. Right. Um, what's going to be really good for us here? I genuinely think we'll just go with this for now for the increased uh, healing over time. The increased health regen is going to be very, very valuable for us. I think with this, we'll just take the boss as is. I'm going to try my tactic again. We've got the Grove Tender. Aha. The Grove Tender is probably going to be quite difficult for us. Please just proc a missile on this guy. There you go. <laughs> it works. It works. If we proc a missile on it, it literally one shots him. What's what's where where are you? Okay, you're in here. I see you now. You cheeky git. Hiding inside the corpse of your boss. Cool. Right, one moment. I seem to have a notification of some kind. Uh, I heard something. Da, 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 da. I heard it go. Da, da, da. I don't know if you guys heard that as well. I don't even know what that was. I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. Right. Doesn't look like anything, I don't think. One second. But well, this is like a really cool setup we got right now. I do only have a very limited amount of time to record, though. I'm very near to the end of my recording session. We'll see how it goes, though. I really don't want to stop this run. Abruptly. Because it's going so well. Got another item. I'm just going to keep stacking the same two items and just honestly see how this goes. You watch, we'll get a item right here. It's awesome that we can kill enemies with, like, basic attacks now, though. Like, the uh, little stun grenades and stuff. That's pretty awesome. It's gonna lead to some really interesting stuff. Okay. Magma worm over there. Wrong one. I don't think I've dealt my big damage to him yet, so I'm gonna wait on that. Does firing at nothing work? I don't suppose I could fire at you. Okay, he's he's swaying in the wind, he is. I had a, a jellyfish spawn. Where's it at? Who knows? Don't go for my healing drone, you stupid thing. Okay, that actually went for that enemy though. So that didn't really work out for us there. Come on, just go for the magma worm. I don't know, has the Magma Worm already taken enough damage? Every time it tries to go for him, it's underground. I can't even tell what health is the Magma Worm. No, it's still on full. We should still try this. I was like, where'd that disc come from? Or else it's probably just one of them beds behind me, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. 
It's going to be much harder to pull this off on the magma worm just because of how he jumps up and down through the ground. Oh, I've already hit him now anyways. I've already hit him now anyways. I didn't even mean to. Came up from behind me. Okay, so as long as we can proc at least one missile on him, he's going to die a lot quicker. Oh my god, we're almost one-shotting everything. It's brilliant. There you go. I'm absolutely loving this. The one thing that I'm not loving, however, is how infrequently our missiles trigger. Like, sometimes it's quite frequently, other times it's just never. And also when it goes for the wrong, complete wrong enemy. That doesn't help. Ah, I might die. Oh my good golly gosh. Do you know when I said I didn't have that much time for an episode? The game kind of listened, I think, and it's like, here, here you go. I'll just kill you real quick. There you go. Stop going. This is like a massive worm. Target the massive worm. Target the big ass worm. Come on. Literally our only healing source is this little thing we've got flying next to us as well. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this. Let's just try procking a bunch of missiles. See if that helps. Which isn't even working. It's not even procking any. Nope. Not procking any. Wow. The game just hears me. This is my tactic and it won't let me do it. It won't even let me. Got so many more items about as well. More crowbars. I want... Is it dead? I think it died. I think a missile finally got it. We don't need another active. Okay, we're, we're pretty good for crowbars now. It's just crazy how we do like 300 damage on a regular hit. 1,600 on our first hit to an enemy. Basically, everything apart from elites is getting one shot now. This is why we 57 leave Clover. It would be so good. Right, where's our boss? We should probably just go and do our boss as soon as possible here. Because I've got to I've got to end my video in like five minutes. <laughs> I don't know why I started this recording so late. Me being stupid, I suppose. Oh, can I not jump up here? Oh, I can, I can. Right, where's our boss? I don't even know where it is. I've never seen it spawn on top of here, but I know that it can. I've seen it spawn on this bit here. Just 1,781 damage on a first hit to an enemy. Not into it. Not into it. It's got to be down this way, right? No? Okay, it must be underground then. Must be underground. Where you at? Is it not under? Where the hell is it? Hey, do you know you got very limited time and need to find your boss quickly? B lol. No, oh, here it is. Here it is. I want to at least see how this goes. Get through one full loop. I wasn't expecting this recording to go so long. Alright, let's see if we can get this boss down. Oh, yes. We're dead. <laughs> oh, yes. We're dead. Yeah. J <laughs> wasn't expecting it. But... <laughs> The game just decided to kill me anyways. Oh my god, what a fun run though. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Monsoon difficulty is a bit spicy. I'm going to be doing more of that as we, as we go along here. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.